Yeah, but we're you know we're working on Barry. Listen, man, we're working on Barry t- nonstop. You know, against Shaw filed a, a filed a charge against Frank Battaglia at the Department of Immigration. That's going through the process right now, and uh, she's standing up to that evil man, uh, extremely evil man. She's standing up to him, and uh, you know, uh, you know, congratulations to her for standing up to that evil man, man. I mean, and then after uh, he received it, then he made a bunch of threats. You know, so uh, he made all kinds of threats after he received the paperwork, and then all that's going on, man. So anyway, a big shout out, yeah, but, uh, Kim Kitchy, yeah, Kim Kitchy, go to Kim Kitchy's channel. That's the Filipina that uh, Frank loves. Uh, you know, Frank falls in love very easy with other women, man. <laughs> I mean, man, bury the Bumberstone Jail. Yes, sir, he's still in, but we're working on it. We're working on it. Shaw has filed a charge on Frank Battaglia. It's gone to immigration. And uh, that charge is going through process, okay? So uh, Shaw filed a charge. Frank has filed a counter affidavit. And now immigration will decide what happens. Will Frank stay or go? (laughs) That's all we know. (laughs) That's all we know. And as far... Oh, yeah, hey. Barry Barry also has the five cyber char five, Barry also has the five cyber crime charges, right? Okay. Get this, get this, get this. Here's a good one. You remember Frank Battaglia was always talking about, you know, he was always talking about uh, you know, Barry's Barry Jordan will stay in jail for a, stay, he'll stay in detention for a long time because you know, the, char- the charges will just drag on for years and years in the uh, cyber court, you know, in the cyber court. By the way, Frank, hey, Frank, how's it going tonight uh, there in Toledo? Frank Tagli in Toledo City tonight awaiting the uh, court is court date tomorrow there at the courthouse. <laughs> Frank, hey, Frank Tagli. How much was it to take that van up to uh, from Battalion Island all the way up to Toledo City? How much did you pay for that? You know, was it like four thousand, five thousand? How much did you pay for Battalion for all you know your hotel stay there at to- uh, Toledo City or Toledo City, Toledo City? How much did you pay for the hotel stay? How much did you pay for all your food and? You know, drink and all the miscellaneous expenses for your court date tomorrow, Frank. How much did you pay? <laughs> I mean, how much are you going to pay, Frank, to go back to Battalion Island? How much are you going to pay for that, Frank? How much are you going to pay for your lawyer's fees? How much are you going to pay for your lawyer's travel expenses? How much are you going to pay for all the other costs? Anyway, Frank. Frank, you know, Frank Battaglia thought, <laughs> this is great for you, Frank. Frank Battaglia thought his court, Barry, Barry, you know, Barry would just be strung out in this cyber court for years and years and years. But unfortunately, and praise the Lord, Barry's very able lawyer went to the cyber court and Talked about what was going on in Barry's situation. Lang machine in detention in Mandawi City at the immigration detention center in Mandawi City. About, you know, the plan to keep him there for years and years. And, of course, the cyber court, after hearing all this, most likely decided to have court every week. <laughs> I mean, so every week. Frank Battaglia, of my Philippines interest, has to pay to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind, half the time when you show up to the court, it's canceled or they move something or something happened with the power or something went down and they can't conduct court for the day. Now, when Frank Battaglia, Frank Battaglia, he can get his bully, 
Philippine women all you want. You think you just do and say and conduct yourself any way you feel fucking like it. You think you're above the law, Frank Battaglia? You think you're above the law? Let's let the Department of Immigration decide, sir. <laughs> So Frank has to pay every week, most likely to go back and forth to court. And of course, of course, of course, Frank said, <laughs> Frank said, I can't afford it. It's, I'm broke. I can't afford it. I can't afford to go back and forth every week to this court. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't make this shit up, bro. I mean, I mean, you can't make this shit up. I mean, you file charges on everybody. You do, you do, you say what you say, all this crazy stuff. You know, of course, you, you never, you know, you never, you know, you, you, you just go, you just, you just, you just, you just do all this crazy stuff, file these charges on everybody. And when it's time, when it's time, when it's time, when it's time to be, you know, to show up and do it. You know, you, now you can't afford to go. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Bill Weston the Chuck coming in from a tired at night. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hi, right, it's at Shaw. Barry's, uh, Jordan's wife has filed a, a charge on Frank Battaglia immigration. Frank received the charge. He filed a counter affidavit. So now all of that's at immigration in Manila, and they're going to decide, uh, the Frank uh, is, you know, something should happen to Frank for what he's done. So we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. And hopefully there's a quick resolution to the uh, the charge. So we'll see what happens. But we're doing great on that. Uh, we're doing, you know, Shaw's in the chat there earlier, Doc. Again. We're doing great on, you know, the, on that complaint. We filed that complaint, as you know, and then... Uh, and Frank Battaglia filed his counter affidavit, so now it's in front of immigration, and uh, that's where we're at, man. That's where we're at, yeah. What we're waiting out here? No, this one for Frank. Frank. Frank Battaglia's in the cuck zone, bro. He's in the cuck zone, bro. Frank Battaglia's in the cuck zone. He's a bigger cuck than, you know, Mike Philippines Retirement, Steve from Phil, uh, from uh, Philippines Information Channel. He's a bigger cuck than um, than uh, every you know uh, everybody, bro. You know because you can't talk about anything anymore because you know slit the throat, Gilda. <laughs> Gilda's like, don't talk about anything about the Philippines. Don't come out and talk about any individual. Don't talk about anything. Frank's just like. What am I going to do the rest of my life, you know, because uh, I'll be in the U.S. and broke. And <laughs> Jimmy will be in my house. <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, like, yeah, yeah, free help, free food, free logic. Thank you. Thank you, Frank Battaglia. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Frank Battaglia, my Philippine interest, buy the house for Jimmy and his family. <laughs> oh, my burrito so good. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah, give me. Jimmy's going to be the big winner in all this, man. Uh, baby. Who's Baby? I have no idea. Anyway, anyway, we're out here just having a good time. That's right. Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy's always winning. Hey, what's going on, Biggie? Biggie's in the chat. B, what's going on? Uh, you had a... Um, you, you just had a beautiful night out with uh, April and Honeyco out there in Borkai. Biggie out there in beautiful Borkai, reunited with, uh, his, with his uh, entire family. Congratulations, Biggie. Congratulations. You know, uh, Arby's uh, Curly Fries, congratulate you. <laughs> 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 and, uh, 
Anyway, uh, yeah, you're looking good too, man. You're looking too good. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm still fat, bro. I'm still fat, bro. But I'm still winning, man. I've been, I've been dating. You know, uh, I've been dating a lot. Meeting a lot of girls. Dating a lot. Having a good time. You know, uh, tonight I'm alone. Thank God. Because, uh, you know, I can only do so much, bro. I can only do so much. But, uh, yeah. The other thing, too, you know, the other thing, too, is... Uh, the other thing, too, is, uh, you know, I got another problem, too. My, I, you know, I had an enlarged prostate. I had an enlarged prostate, you know. Because I, I think I had too much testosterone, you know. I had too much testosterone, so I had to take some pills, you know, to uh, reduce my uh, prostate, you know. And, uh, you know, so my testosterone's going down, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, so i just been adjusted. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have that problem because he's got, a, he's got his whole uh, 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 family. But good job, man. Good job. Hey, Ken Unger in the chat. What's going on, Ken Unger? Yeah, so, yeah, my, my testosterone's really, really been high, you know. I mean, not off the charts, but, you know, it's good. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, everybody's having these problems, you know. Everyone has these problems. Yeah, I don't think anybody's blocked, bro. But anyway, I'm good, 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 you're doing well, Biggie. Again, uh, the highlights, Biggie, is uh, – 